Ukraine rejects Russian neutrality idea as U.S. steps up aid. Here's a summary of the article. Ukraine on Wednesday dismissed Russian proposals to turn it into a neutral state, as the United States readied a huge package of military aid ahead of a historic address to Congress by Kyiv's defiant leader. On the ground, Russian rocket fire hit a train station in southern Ukraine used by thousands of fleeing refugees and fresh blasts hit the capital, which was under a total curfew. The attacks came as Ukraine and Russia continued stop-start peace talks, after Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky conceded that NATO membership was not on the table, in an apparent concession to Moscow. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said a «compromise» outcome would center on Ukraine becoming a neutral state comparable to Sweden and Austria. Ukraine is now in a direct state of war with Russia. Consequently, the model can only be «Ukrainian» and only on legally verified security guarantees, Kyiv's negotiator Mikhailo Podoyak said. The alliance will hold an emergency summit next week in Brussels with U.S. President Joe Biden attending, but it has so far resisted Zelensky's pleas for direct involvement for fear of starting World War III. Indirectly Biden and other NATO leaders have been stepping up military support for Ukraine including anti-tank weapons that have helped to stall Russian forces north of Kyiv. He noted the enormous suffering by the civilian population in Ukraine and stressed it was utterly important for the ICRC's neutral humanitarian work to be recognized on the ground. This post received a score of 58,000, with an up-vote ratio of 91%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Lavrov left this detail out when he said Ukraine's neutrality was being seriously discussed. To be honest these negotiations are kind of a shit show. You have like three talking heads along with Putin. One guy says that there's some positive developments in negotiations. Next day Putin comes out and says there's been no positive signs in the negotiations. It's like none of them can agree on what to say. Which isn't surprising really considering how this whole situation has been developing. Huge difference between what's being said behind closed doors and what each country will say to the public and media. Russia, Ukraine. We'll let you be neutral and independent so long as you do what we say. Give us Crimea. All your oil and natural gas reserves. Fresh water supply. And Black Sea's coastline. Ukraine. Um. No. Greater than all your oil and natural gas reserves. Fresh water supply. And Black Sea's coastline or in your forests too. Oh that was positive cause they said all their shit while the other side wrote it down to get an understanding of each side's starting position. Then obviously they read through it and say we can't possibly agree to any of this. I honestly believe biggest barrier is Ukraine is doing so well it wants to fight back to a strong position before settling on points. Russia won't get all of Ukrainian territory they are holding, maybe none, and Ukraine won't join NATO but will seek external guarantor. This should be a non-starter. Free countries and people aren't told who they can associate with. If Putin doesn't like it, just wait a bit longer. He's gonna be getting real nervous about having his poop shoot perforated a la Gaddafi. I guarantee the bayonet sales have increased in anticipation of getting to be the one to perforate Putin's poop shoot, a la Gaddafi. The problem with neutrality is that Russia needs to give guarantees that they will leave Ukraine alone, both now and in the future. But as Russia has no problems going back on their words and breaking treaties they signed, there is no way for them to give these guarantees. Russia has lost all credibility. Russia acts like their future is to become the next Germany. In reality, their future is to be the next Iran or North Korea. They want to go back to being the old Soviet Russia. Putin certainly got it with all of the Western brands off the shelves and the ruble being worthless. The only thing worth less that a ruble now is a ruble tomorrow. Rubble today is worth the most since the start of the war. I don't know why it went up so much today but it did. 98.5 rubles for a dollar today. Peaked at 150 a few days ago. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.